and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and uh, yeah, we're here for another art video today. Anyway, um, yeah, it's Sunday today and I have a very busy day planned. Um, I want to do a shop update of my Etsy shop today. And uh, yeah, of course that has me very excited. <laughs> um, it's, it's nothing major. I ordered two of my paintings as prints so I could offer a more affordable option. Um, yeah, I ordered these last week and actually after I ordered them, um, I sold the first two of my paintings, of my original paintings on Etsy. Um, granted, more people that knew me that bought those, but still, I think that counts. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, the prints that I ordered were these. So this is um, my jellyfish painting. I don't actually have the original on my Etsy shop yet. And um, these lovely flamingos and the original of this I have actually sold. That's one of the paintings I sold last week. And um, I also ordered, well those two I ordered from Vistaprint and I'm really happy with the result, with the way they came out. But um, this one I ordered from another uh, website. Um, can't remember the name just now. Um, yeah, doesn't matter. I'm not as happy with this. It is, well, for one, not as crisp as I would like it. Reason being probably because it was a smaller painting originally. And it was probably not a good idea to order it in, what format is this? A, I forgot, A3. Um, anyway, yeah. It did not turn out the way I wanted it and also the process of ordering it was such that I wouldn't order there again anyway. So those are my prints and I ordered some stickers that were only one sheet. Um, I won't be selling those, I'll be using them for packaging maybe or just, when, or just for myself, I don't know, <laughs> it was just for fun really. Um, yeah, so that's not a huge shop update. I'm only going to be uh, putting in two prints, but my first prints, so that has me excited. And um, yeah, maybe I'll put in some more original paintings. I was thinking possibly um, some of my black and white paintings that I painted last year for Inktober. I think one of them I already have in my shop. I don't know, I just really liked how they turned out. Um, yeah, I still haven't entirely decided how to price my prints, um, or at least if I should put in a shipping fee or not. If I'm just selling them in Germany, it probably wouldn't be a problem not to, but if they're going abroad and I don't price them high enough, then, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be really making any profit of it. Um, so... That's if I sell any. <laughs> anyway, it's all very exciting. And um, that's what I'm going to be working on today. I'm going to take some photos um, of my prints, maybe of some more originals, put them in my shop. And I want to have that all finished by one o'clock today. And uh, then we're going over for lunch to my parents' house. And in the afternoon, I'm hoping to maybe upload another YouTube video or do some painting. I think painting might be more fun. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for, for tuning in. And I think after this intro, I will show you my process of painting these flamingos as a speed painting. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, of I hope you subscribe continue watching it of course to see my speed painting but um, yeah maybe you could give me a thumbs up and possibly subscribe I would really like that and um, if you have any experience with making prints ordering them pricing them shipping them um, please let me know in the comments thank you so much and yeah enjoy the rest of the video as always I'm sketching out my drawing first sketching out these two lovely flamingos that make a very romantic 
seen together. They're shaping a heart. later on when we celebrate and uh, this is a nice party out in the garden. Starting to work on the background. of the flamingo and some orange for the neck Why? 
footage there or I forgot to film obviously sorry about that but you can see that the flamingos are slowly coming along at least the one on the right and I must say I'm really enjoying my new brushes not that I necessarily needed them <laughs> um, I was also very happy with my silver black velvet brushes but um, yeah I don't have a ton of watercolor brushes but they are and what I do what I used to buy for acrylic painting. And to of course last number as well. What I like about these in comparison to the silver black velvet ones are that they um complete
Bye-bye.